welcome back it's k doc from fred night shooter still on daisy having learned a little bit more about it if you're watching this and think i won't die anytime soon you can forget about it i'm going to die but uh, there's a couple of things along the way i want to show you this clip here now i'm just you know i i realized that those zombies or zeds as they're called can hear you from quite a bit away like like right now so if you crouch walk or crouch run, uh, you can really reduce your um, your sound. They don't really hear you. But when, I know this is alpha and everything, but still there's a couple of nine things here. Eventually I, I walk into this house trying to escape from this guy. Look at him, it's crazy. That guy's having a bad day. I uh, try my way into the house. And hopefully close the door. But there's a couple of things there. I'm in the doorway, kind of seeing this bit of glitching going on. This guy, he's not looking at me. He's not even hitting me. But Jet, he's, he's whenever he does that, yeah, I got hit. Yeah, okay, alpha problem. There you go. There's my fat cap. Just throw it on. He's still hitting me apparently, even though he's outside. So then, anyway, I died in that one, as you can imagine. In this case, I crouch walked, managed to get by that zombie. One thing I found is this door actually climbs stairs. So they're there on the ground floor. I'm just running around on this gantry, looking back down. They don't see me at all. When you spawn in Dizzy, you really spawn with just a uh, basic set of clothes, flashlight, and uh, a battery. There you go. Let's, let's pick up that uh, hammer. We could do with something here. You spawn near the coast, and then you have to try and get, make your way around. Turns out, any of your houses around your spawn area, you don't really have a lot, a lot, a lot of loot. Ah, uh, they're easy targets. I guess they get, get taken very quickly. Um, the only way to find your way around, really, when you're a noob like me, follow the coast, eventually make your way to a uh, big up population center. This map is like 225 square kilometers. So, when they sort out all these issues, it's going to be like, looks like a really good game. The quality, I have the quality ramped up to the max. You know, I'm running like a GTX 6, 8, 6 or 780 Ti. And I'm still only getting like 60 frames per second, roughly. So, it does take a bit of juice to run this. There we got a zombie just below us. So, I'm going to try this time on him. I, have to, I can't stay up here forever, I have to get back down. They're still roaring and shouting down below me. Not, not many options here now. I that door on the left for straight ahead of me or door on the right where the two are standing at. Okay, yeah, listen, I'm going to go down. I can't stay here. Jeez, what do I do? What do I do? Let's go for it. Just head head down. Seems quiet on my side. Oh, there they go. Ah, uh, right. Where did she go to? Just below the stairs. And she's walked through the stairs. Okay, great. This is another annoying thing with this alpha. These zombies don't seem to respect boundaries. Actually, it looks like to be more fun to be a zombie than a <laughs> an actual player. Right, there you go. Take that. Uh, more of them arrive. So once you make any sort of sound at all, they just come from all directions. It's just crazy. Look, it seems the advice is, you know, when you're confronted by zombies, not to run away like that. But I don't really have any options here. I just have to get away from them. There, they've walked to the wall. That's crazy. How can you compete against that? So, sprinting along the road. Can I just... Ignore my own advice here to try to walk. <laughs> Hammer is having no effect whatsoever on them. Is that anybody else to tell you a hammer or sort them out, but not these not these guys. Three zombies at me and I'm just at a hammer. This is not gonna end well, I'll tell you that. Right, a little symbol there on the screen I think indicates I'm in shock. You'd be surprised if three zombies coming out to you and Try and get back into into a house. 
Ah, oh, what's going on here? So I'm kind of halfway in the doorway and I can glitch in through it. Those zombies have walked right through. I'm bleeding out. This is not going to end well at all. Yeah, so in Dizzy, when you die, you die. That's it. You lose everything. You have to respawn. But like in Rust, you know, you, if you don't have a... If you didn't have a spawn point set up in Rust, then you die. That's it. You come back. Ah, there they are again. So I just can't escape them. They walk through the walls. So there's no point closing the doors after me. I wanna go again. So it seems the only strategy here until the sort is out is to run like hell. Just keep sprinting. Pick up any loot you can. Find some cover. I think if they can't see you, they'll leave you alone. I'm just attracting it from all over now. This is just madness. Into another house. Uh, the screen is gonna go kinda going that grey colour. Where did she come from? means that I'm, I'm about to go here. The next day after this is unconscious. Right. Look at that. Now that's just not right. Completely walking through the walls. So yes it's uh, okay it's alpha and we just kind of we've accepted that. But uh, yeah to make this a bit more playable you've got to sort these issues out quickly. Yeah I died. So this this version here, I can just uh, I'm I'm kind of looking through the wall of a shed there. Ah, that's a major issue. Very handy though if there was anything in it, but very disorientating as well when you're looking through it. Just having a peek around this wall, I'm being very careful now. Die so many times. Who's that? Is there somebody running along the road? Just zoom in. Now they're running along the white line, so they maybe another player. Oh, let's let's go and run after them. I have a bit to do to catch up with them. But this is the first player I've seen in a server. Hey. Guy's still running ahead. He's just sprinting flat out. He's going to run into the same problems I was having. That the zombies are going to hear you. Let's see if he gets on. He's still there. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Zombies after him. Right, for me, I'm gonna find some cover. This is not going to. If that guy finds me too, I'm in trouble. So I think he's trying to engage the zombie. I just carried on running. Needs to be the best strategy. Fists don't work. Hammer doesn't work. I, think I haven't found some guns yet. No ammo. Haven't I found any food? I'm still getting the hang of the controls. I, I, I suppose to have a sort of a status pane on the right hand side that shows my health and what I've got and how loud I am. But uh, I don't see it in the server. Can I just pick the server? It was set on I think normal or regular mode. PvP. Okay, I'm just going to take it easy now. Just skirt along by the coast. Make my way back down to those houses. Alright, this is not good, but I have to do it. Just sprinting flat out. Noisy thing you can do. Just trying to get into that shelter, those houses down there. Uh, okay. And rather than running straight up to them, I'm just going to have a quick look. Around the corner, find the door, see if there's anything I can loot. Surely there's something I can use here. No, door isn't open. 
Alright, back when I go. It's such a big map, it's, um, yeah, I think there's maximum 40 players in the server. Uh, so it's going to be quite tough to, to find other people, it seems. The way to, to find your way around, so well, I think there's a couple of maps. The signs are all in Russian. To, to find a version that shows the English and Russian version if you want to try and coordinate with your non-Russian friends. <laughs> Otherwise, it's kind of tough to pronounce some of them. Oh, let's let's meet up at Electro something or other. Chernikov or whatever it's called. Nothing in the room, nothing I can loot. It's a bit useless. The room sounds seem to be all laid out this way. Table, a couple of chairs, upstairs, a bedroom, two beds, all laid out exactly the same. There's always a door to the staircase, it seems. Alright, I'll just carry on. See where the road takes me. Still running. Just have a quick look on the road. Any zeds around? Nope. Oh, there's one. Where is he? Alright, just trying to find some shelter there and hide. Ah, uh, this guy's friendly. There's no hiding from him. Ah, uh, he's still hitting me. He knows. Where is he? Oh, there he is. No, I thought I could hide. It doesn't work. He's gonna take me out. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna run for the water. The water looks nice. Let's see if uh, the Zed swim. Yeah, Alright, bleeding out here. This is not going to end. A very nice place. Okay, that's cool. Do we swim? We swim. Excellent. Now, I'm hoping that by swimming out here I can get rid of that Zed. He just comes swimming after me. Where is he? He seems to be walking on the water. The Zeds don't float. They don't swim. They're happy out. They don't even need to, to worry about air. Said it seems to be more fun to be a Zed in this game. Alright, I'm gonna just swim. Where is this guy? He's still there. Walking on the seabed towards me. Not a bothering him. Alright. I can swim over here, just get back to shore, maybe I can leave him there. Yeah, so that's basically it. I've, I've, I've tried this game a few times, but I've died every single time. This is probably the longest run I've had, and I'm still in bad shape because I'm out in the water, I'm bleeding. No food, no resources. Just saw one player so far running on the road. So it'd be good if you know, as they move from alpha to uh, uh, the next release that they fix a few different issues. Those heads glitching through the house would be really one. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And we'll be back soon with either Rust, Minecraft or Daisy. Bye bye.